Now, what you're about to see is game breaking. It's exploitative and it's downright cheating. And her name is Zara. That's right. This little port that Italy was blessed with at the end of the First World War gives Yugoslavia access to probably the biggest exploit in Hard Surviving 4. Are you ready to defeat Italy in the most easiest war possible? Then you're watching the right video, my dude. Daddy is speaking. Follow these steps. First of all, an army. We're not going to be needing that. Next up. <laughs> Tito's Yugoslavia. Everyone in the Balkans simultaneously gasps. Yes, it's the path you love the most. A thing that Croatians and Serbians agree on, but nothing else. And that is Tito. All right, merge the planes up. Exercise them. We're going to make a few mills. We're going to work on a few weird things, such as armored trains to begin with, motorized, as well as hand machine tools, artillery, and the rest into guns. And we'll exercise our ships just because we can. Why not, right? The Balkans, but not as you know them. Actually, change of plan. We don't actually need machine tools. We need maintenance support equipment. And we also need support equipment. If you want the unlimited equipment, you have to do this step. But if you're not bothered about capturing equipment from Italy, then don't bother doing that step. It's up to you. Wait. Did you hear that? Time for Thunder. War Thunder is a free-to-play game for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. It has some of the most comprehensive vehicle combat ever made, whether the 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and even to my surprise, ships. Every vehicle has been put into the game with incredible detail using the like-for-like -like components of the actual real vehicles. PvP battles are, in a word, extreme. Jump in, play with your friends. You can take this as deep as you want with many varying levels of play style. Laid back, non-competitive with randoms online, got it. Competitive online PvP white knuckle rides. Oh yeah, we got that. Whatever experience you prefer, you'll find it right here. War Thunder has authentic sound effects, followed with beautiful music, and off top it off, look at these beautiful, stunning graphics. If you've got the hardware, why not scale it all the way up to 4K? You can. The game offers a wide variety of vehicles over the last 100 years. My personal favorite, T-34. For the motherland. All of these amazing things, and top it off, it will cost you absolutely nothing. What are you waiting for? Follow the link in the description to get War Thunder and join the fight yourself. I'll be there. Will you? Form the peasant councils, getting 0.2 communism. That's pretty huge. Okay, next thing you need to do is do anti-democratic raids. We're going to flip to communism diplomatically. Mutual economic assistance. Three years to reduce consumer goods by 5%. Nice. Armored trains, we're on it. And once again, more anti-fascist raids. This will boost the amount of support that we get for communism. It also gives a tiny little bit of stability too. Now we're not going to select a national focus. We get to hire this resistance guy as well. 167 political power. Ouch. But it gives more communism. So that's what we want. For anyone who's following along at home, these are my trades. This is my construction. This is my production. And this is my research. You got it? Okay. 39 and it's a 40. Abolish the monarchy. Sorry, Prince Paul. Not today. Boom. Tito. And let's go for army defense, giving ticking army experience. The Yugoslav path to communism and justify on Italy. You know, as soon as we've done this diplomatically, you didn't need to disband your entire army. Oh, well, mistakes were made. This is the main infantry template we're going to use. You just need to make one little change and add on maintenance. Make it elite. And we'll have like six divisions that will be this specific template and they'll go on this front line and everyone else will go on this front line and the perfect general for this job is this guy the cavalry officer level two and a cavalry officer this guy is perfect for leveling up to get lots of high attack Boom! the federal republic one 70 day focus and all of a sudden all the minorities love yugoslavia tito brings people together prince paul separates us big hug in the comments for tito improve relations with Germany. Surprisingly, Germany hates Mussolini. Who would have known? The CB is complete, but because it's a core, it's a permanent CB. So we get lots of time to plan. If you're not as fast as me, that's okay. You just take it a little bit slower. The Federal Republic has been proclaimed. Let's get some extra defense. We're going to need it. And of course, war economy. Dig in, entrench, and 
we're ready. So here we go. The first part of the plan, declare war. You guys are in position now, so you can delete the front line on the offensive order. Now what you're going to do is right click, but you're going to hold down control. What well, that means, they're going to attack, but it's a support attack, meaning when they win, they won't move forward. And therefore, this port will remain open. Hmm, I wonder why. Anyway, off we go. The battle has begun. And we're winning because they are encircled and suffering from a mighty big penalty. And the first encirclement has happened. The second and encirclement has happened and the third encirclement is complete and that's right the battle has been won look they've not moved forward oh okay so that means the, the czar report will still remain italian and the ai is about to make a colossally big mistake first thing we'll check is if you go into combat log equipment you can see that we've captured a bunch of italian equipment very useful that'll come in handy 78 guns three support equipment and one piece of artillery wow now we go five speed and wait again and if you notice, the AI will send more troops here. Ah, control right click. Another one. Again, another one. Ah, uh, another one. Another one. Ooh, another one, you say? And another one. And another one. And another one. Let's have a look at the combat log. And we have captured 432 pieces of Italian equipment. 17 support and 16 pieces of artillery. Nice. Pro tip, you might want to build a few forts in the north because they really struggle with this, but it is what it is. Bold attack is needed. Another one. Another one. And another one. And another one. What? Why don't you subscribe? Unlimited equipment. Please subscribe for more exploits okay that's enough for that okay there is a way we can actually cheese this even more so if you make a battle plan they'll move forward and then they'll take zara that's not going to be good then we'll lose the ability to do the exploit which is not fun but what you can do is select the field marshal z shift left click to make a front line for the field marshal x right click to make the offensive order and then select the infantry and then tell them to not be assigned so no one's assigned to this front line but if you look really closely we're getting planning bonus why? I don't know. But then if you go into a battle, we're taking advantage of planning bonus, even though they're not on an order. I I, I, I don't understand, but it, it, it works. It's a thing. Okay, infantry boy out. Artillery. Give them a little bit more bite and a little bit of support artillery for the cavalry. And we have the equipment to do this. Trade a few more boyos. Yeah, why not? Would you like to support me on Patreon? The link's in the description below. All right, we've got the option to do the Pan-Slavic Workers' Congress, which we get to flip the nations in the Balkans to communism, which is kind of a fun thing to do. So why not? What are the casualties, Dave? Italy has lost 250,000 to Yugoslavia. I have lost 25K. Most of that 25K was just them pushing my cavalry in the north, but not anymore. Can we do a counterattack in the north? Yes, 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 we can. Want another counterattack? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Population encirclement. And that's another one. Go around the outside, around the boyo. Oh, another one. It's almost like I've got the AI turned off. Instigate a peasant uprising in Bulgaria. The Bulgarians suddenly want a bit of communism. Why not? Ooh, three divisions now. Ooh, you are spoiling us. So the AI will always feel the need to cover their front line. Hence the reason why they see this front line and they're like, oh, urgent problem here. There's a gap in the front line. We've got to fill it out. And then you run into situations like this. Ooh, this looks like a good opportunity for for encirclement on the northern front. I think I'll take it. Equipment captured. <laughs> this is where it gets stupid. 5,000 infantry equipment, 150 support, 250 in artillery. That's just stupid. If Paradox are listening to this, the way you fix this is that you train the AI to whenever it feels like it's encircled and it's just about to lose a division in a port, it automatically retreats out of the port. The way the AI is failing here is it feels the need to defend the port to the last man, which is just not a smart thing to do. One in the north, one in the south. GG. For my own amusement now, I just want to see how few divisions Italy can have before they... Uh, they're unable to function. Okay, enough of this. Soviet volunteers. Zara has now been claimed. Frontline is here. Infantry expert. Infantry specialist. It is time to push, brothers. Attack. Be aggressive. Off you go. And you know what? Why not find another opportunity to do another encirclement, right? There's never a time when you don't want to be encircling, right? Oh, dear. It only took half a million dead for the fascist council to realize Mussolini's a liability. In new Italy. Now, there's two of them. A coup in Bulgaria. Purple Bulgaria. And uh, all the land can be given to my puppet state. 
I'll take the Navy, though. All right, now we need to build inside of Italy to make them an integrated puppet, so therefore we can take a bigger share of their factories. The Pan Slavic Workers Congress. Slavic Italy. Ugh. The King of Italy and the puppet of the Communist Yugoslavia. It doesn't even make sense. Italy has eaten Albania. You know what that means? That means we get to expand the Pan Balkan Initiative. More. Who do we influence next? Greece, Romania, or Hungary? Hmm. You know, I feel like I want to do Hungary. And if we ever go to war with them, we can always cause an uprising inside of them, which will be quite spicy. So the little exploit we did in Zara there can be recreated in any location. It's quite fun to do it as Spain or Portugal in Gibraltar. You can also do it as China, I suppose, if you wanted to, in all the treaty ports, Macau or Hong Kong. But then you can also do something really cool, where if you intentionally, like, say, as Germany, let the UK land on you, you push them all the way back to the port and then just keep doing it in the port over and over and over again. And it is super effective against that allies because the allies have got a lot of production a lot of manpower and all that equipment is what <laughs> it's now in my stockpile how convenient and here we go integrate the puppet all right this is convenient for the people complaining that i didn't annex italy this is the reason why so right now they're a puppet if i make them an integrated puppet we'll go from 42 factories to two okay i think that's bugged let me reload the save. Gone from 42 to 77. Okay, you have to reload the save game. I, I, I don't know why. There you go. I've almost doubled my factory count from making them an integrated puppet. Told you it's worth. And what's this? Occupations? Occupation? Zero. No occupations. Saves me countless manpower and countless equipment occupying this territory. But you could argue with the path I'm going for right now. I'm going to have so much manpower. It's not going to matter. And that's true. We'll see. Now we can take advantage of the steel inside of Italy. Also a freebie. But sadly, you're going to have to keep building inside them because otherwise they'll end up breaking away because their autonomy will drop really low. This guy's not leveled up the way I would have liked. That's disappointing. Okay, we'll promote him anyway because we'll make him a field marshal to get hold of. Logistics wizard. Lithuania would like to join my faction. <laughs> So isolated and alone, Lithuania. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, Hungary's got lots of communism for me to spread it to them. We can instigate a coup, but it has a weak chance of success. I don't think it's going to succeed either because they're in the Axis. Oh, this could go bad. No, no. Oh, they're at war with the Axis and they want me to join. How did they automatically join my faction though? That's what confuses me. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's do Greece now. Thought they could only join my faction through focus, but guess not. The plains of Hungary. Rip. And they're attacking Bulgaria as well. Uh, superior firepower? Nah. Superior mass assault. Oh, wow. I'm so close to human wave. Unlimited manpower. Soon. The human wave. Max recruitable now is going to be about 13, 12, 13%. Okay, well, um, the war in the east isn't going very well. It's time for me to hop in. Coup in Romania. Do I get to join the war? Join the wars? Join the wars. Off you go. Go, go, go. Call in all the Balkan boys. Oosh. Damn, absolutely demolished. Hungary flipped a communist and then stayed in the Axis and then got capitulated again. Game of a thousand Hungary capitulations. My contribution is 13%. Wow, that's disappointing. Point. Italy. Do you mind? They asked for independence. I said no. The second invasion of Italy. Italy capitulated a second time. This time I'm going to take a little bit of land from them. A little bit, aka uh, the whole thing. There can only be one communism. My communism. Marvelous. Hugo is a big boy, and this time we didn't get balkanized. Uh, Turkey did, though. Don't forget, the War Thunder is a game with literally hundreds of vehicles you can drive, fly, and sail. Strap in, have fun. You'll be missing out if you don't give it a try. Download War Thunder for free using the link in the description, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. You've watched it. You can't unwatch it and keep watching it. This is the next video. Give this one a click. This one.